the US space agency NASA is all set to bring home its Orion capsule. NASA's Orion capsule is due to splash down in the Pacific Ocean after wrapping up a 3-week test flight that included a close pass at the moon and a journey further into space than any previous habitable spacecraft. The splash down is expected to take place at 17:39 GMT on Sunday. that is 9:39 am local time of the mexican island of guadalupe returning on sunday that is december 11th won't be easy for the orion capsule orion will do an unprecedented skip of the atmosphere of earth before returning to the planet in earnest then it must deploy a series of parachutes to make a safe ocean splashdown within the reach of us navy recovery ships the gumdrop shaped traveler will have to withstand a temperature of 2800 degrees centigrade that is 5000 degrees fahrenheit about half that of the surface of the sun according to nasa the orion flight has gone very well so far orion's launch last month with a simulated crew of 3 mannequins kicked off nasa's artemis program which aims to take people back to the moon and prepare for an onward trip some day to mars the capsule reached its farthest point in space in late november venturing 432210 km from the earth while midway through its 25 day mission on monday orion sailed within 130 km of the lunar surface achieving the closest approach to the moon for a spacecraft built to carry humans since apollo 17 flew half a century ago the incoming velocity will be extremely high The capsule will be moving at 40,000 km per hour or 32 times the speed of the sound when it touches the top of our planet's atmosphere. What happens next is critical to the success of the whole endeavor. The shielding that covers this part of the spacecraft has to handle this challenge if Orion is ever to be trusted to carry astronauts in the future. NASA already has experience of an Orion re-entry. It conducted a previous uncrewed demonstration of the capsule in 2014, but the velocities and heating conditions were much lower during that test. What that earlier flight did do, however, was prove the effectiveness of the parachute system. 11 chutes were used in sequence to slow the final part of the descent to the ocean. surface the USS Portland will be waiting to pick up Orion NASA's Melissa Jones who is in charge of the procedure said that various tests and assessments would be conducted while Orion was still in the water we'll be very careful with the capsule we'll get about an hour and a half of imagery of that heat shield before it touches anything in the ship we want to make sure we document every bit of that so that we have the data that orion needs to understand the performance of the capsule going forward she told the reporters other information to be collected includes the condition of the vessel after its flight data from monitors that measure acceleration and vibration and the performance of a special vest put on a mannequin in the capsule to test how to protect people from radiation while flying through space if the mission succeeds a crewed artemis 2 flight around the moon and back could come as early as 2024 but still without landing on it nasa is expected to name the astronauts selected for this trip soon